Hey guys, Majeffries here and welcome to part 15 of my PES 2013 career mode as Majeffries United. Um, and the last game we won 2-0 with goals from Della Mond and Bobo, I believe. I think that's right. Um, and we start this episode by looking at football boots. Um, now, normally on games like FIFA, football boots are just aesthetic, you know. Uh, you see a player in boots, you go, oh, I like his boots, and then you get those boots for your player. That's basically how it works. On Pez, you get a whole range of stat improvements, or, um, you know, it makes the stats less, more or less. That's the better way of saying it, uh, depending on what boots you're wearing. So, uh, let me use as, as a, an example Bobo. He wears Adidas Predators. And you can see how good his stats are. Now, in Bobo's case, it doesn't matter what boots he wears. As you can see, his stats remain the same. Um, so, all I've done here is just given Bobo a pair of aesthetically pleasing boots. Because um, him and both, well, both him and Delamond, they can wear any boots they like. Um, it makes no difference to their stats. So, I just chose two pairs of boots that they look good in. Um, Whose boots did I change next? Was it Drewson's? Yes. Now Drewson, you can see his stats increase or decrease depending on um, which boots he wears. So I gave him boots that would increase all his stats. That's the gist of it. Um, that's how boots work. Um, there are item lists as well, which I haven't used yet, but I think I'll use them more next season. Because um, at the moment I'm doing better in the league than I was so it's not a big deal for me to have better training and better you know coaching stats and fitness stats and things like that that's that doesn't mean much to me right now so um, I'll wait until later on in my career mode when I actually need little things like that and then I'll look at getting them. Um, now today we are playing Jahachnard in the league um, I think I got that right Jahachnard uh, we're playing this in coach mode I believe, yep, we're playing this in coach mode. Um, again, I enjoy watching matches in coach mode. Um, team play a lot differently when it's in coach mode than when I play. So uh, it's 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 always interesting to watch, basically. Um, yeah, running out of things to say already. Just going to watch the uh, intro to this match. Um, I'm not sure if this has been shown in videos, but uh, there are two players that I've promoted from the youth team who will be joining us in January. Um, I can only remember the name of one of them, and I've mentioned him before. Uh, Rocklin, the centre forward, slash striker. I think he plays on the left-hand side as well. Um, I've promoted him, and I think his, the second guy's name is Neil Denner. He's a attacking midfielder anyway. Um, I've promoted him as well, and I've also put in a bid for a right winger called Vossel Belt, I believe his name is. Um, all three of them will be joining us in January, uh, which is good, very promising, uh, making three signings, improving the squad, and what that allows me to do is choose players who aren't as good in the team and either sell them or loan them out. Um, so you know they they'll come back better, uh, and then I'll, I'll keep doing that like a conveyor belt. So the bottom, let's say three players every season will get loaned out or transfer listed, and then better players will be brought in. Uh, so if I operate a x amount of players out, x amount of players in policy, uh, it will always be the like three or four good players will come in, and because of that, three or four bad players will have to leave. Um, and then it's, it's almost like the, the good players join at the top of the list and then they slowly work their way down and then as they become the bad players they drop off the bottom of the list uh, and that's that's a good way to run a team really um, it means you're not paying players that you're not going to play uh, it gives you the opportunity to bring in better players uh, either on free agents or even if you loan them in um, it just keeps things interesting it keeps the squad rotation policy going uh, it's, you know it, it makes the game more fun keeps you active in the transfer market so you're not going through the summer in January not signing anybody um, yeah 
it's, it's just it keeps that part of the game active that's basically why I do it uh, but yeah let's join this match now anyway so we've got Alptig on the ball puts the ball forward um, Delamond maybe could have won that maybe could have worked a little bit harder to get around his man but it falls harmlessly to the goalkeeper in the end anyway so uh, you know that attack breaks down and now the other team are on the attack uh, that was a poor challenge must give away a free kick yeah he gives away a free kick for that don't blame the referee for giving that one that was a foul it was a pretty bad foul very late challenge right so free kick comes in uh, it fell to Delamond but he missed cued his first touch Bobo manages to win the ball back though it comes to Delamond he finds Bobo who actually should be out on the left but isn't um, that's a poor ball from Bobo actually I'm not really sure what Bobo was trying to do there because it's, he certainly wasn't trying to play in the striker uh, so if we've got Drewson back to Wilkinson he plays it forward that's a much better ball into the path of Bobo he pulls the ball back and Delamond I think that was with the shot and it was blocked for a corner which Bobo will of course take into the box that was a good header as well from Wilkinson I believe that might have been Delamond actually haven't said that no, I think that was Wilkinson. You headed it over, which is uh, unlucky. Again, not very good from corners. I'm not very good from corners, set pieces, just winning headers in general. You saw Drewson score a header a couple of games ago. Um, that's the only time really where I'm good at winning headers, and even then it was kind of an open header anyway. So uh, that just shows how bad I am at winning headers. I'm better on the ground. And that looked like a foul on Delamond, the fact that he was stumbling and ended up losing the ball as a result of his stumbling um, I thought they were given as free kicks but apparently not apparently that's just a play on scenario um, don't really know why because if I committed that challenge I probably would have given away a free kick so maybe a little bit of a biased nature going on there but then I suppose I can't complain too much because you know it's still nil nil still before half time it didn't cost me that much Just well I suppose it cost me an attack but then there's no guarantee that I'd have scored uh, I've got two Wilkinsons there combining well to win that ball back uh, I'm sure it come, yep, comes out wide to Bobo it nearly always does in these scenarios he does a good ball down the line for Drewson who does get a shot away but it cannons up off the goalkeeper um, Williams keeps it in play needs to do something with it though does pull it across the box eventually Delamont tried to flick it onto Drewson, but it was never really going to cause a danger. Right, so that was the first half done and dusted, and it's still 0 0, which is disappointing, I suppose. Um, but you know, again, we're not losing, we are still in the game, which is good. So, let's start the second half. And we've got Williams on the ball, he passes it back to Wilkinson, I think that was, out to McGregor, who's actually, I think Grantham is my best left back, closely followed by uh, Jones, I think, and then McGregor. Uh, the referee's given that one as a free kick, which again I'm surprised at, considering I didn't think that one was that much of a foul. Anyway, the ball comes in, comes back out again, Delamond with the shot, miles wide. That's poor from Delamond. You see the kind of shots he can hit. To hit one like that is very disappointing. Um, that what what really wasn't troubling anyone, and the fact that he was standing still until the very last second before running onto that. Um, yeah, you got to wonder why. Why didn't he just run onto that in the first place and give himself a better shooting angle? But it's been and gone now, so there's no point uh, getting upset about it. Uh, we have a real midfield battle in this game. I've noticed there's a lot of head tennis going on. Um, it, it's very hard for us to hold onto the ball. We tend to have to get it out wide a lot in this match, or play it straight through the middle, bypass the midfield completely, and then let the striker sort of pass it backwards to the midfield almost. It seems harder to get through the midfield forwards than it is to go over the top and then play it backwards into them and then go forwards from there, if that makes any sense. Uh, who have we got? Is that Wilkinson? Yeah, that's Wilkinson who lost the ball and then went straight through his man. Uh, he's won it back though and he's found Bobo who's using his pace here he plays it into Delamond who gets his feet a bit mixed up but Wilkinson does well to win it back and get past 
Needs to do something with it though, and he finds Bobo, and that was a really good effort and a good save actually. That's an impressive save from the keeper. Had to dive suddenly across his goal to keep that one out, but managed to do it. An impressive shot from Bobo. Not as much power on it as it probably needed, but still, it's a shot on target, so uh, it counts towards that at least. Uh, yeah, that shot wasn't really that dangerous, so. Uh, We'll let them shoot from that kind of range if they're not going to get it on target. They've only had one shot all match and it's that one. So uh, he sort of stabbed at it with his foot really, didn't he? Um, so yeah. Now, I can s sort of tell what you guys are thinking here. We're only 70 minutes into the game. And this video is quite close to finishing. And the reason for that is because... I lost the rest of the game um, the footage completely disappeared my hard drive must have become full and it just deleted the end of the footage um, what I can tell you is I lost the match 1-0 which I'm disappointed at it was a very 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 last minute goal uh, it should never have gone in really the defense was poor um, but yeah I lost 1-0 but uh, I'll come back in the next game stronger and better than ever so uh, until next time guys I will see you soon